Hi everybody, this is Leslie from Black Dog Vintage and I am starting this video a little bit different. I'm showing you the last few trays and um, I guess uh, everything that I've bought recently because uh, I've been on this like crazy spending spree of jewelry uh, and winning auctions and stuff. And uh, we're going to go through some of this stuff today. So I'm going to just, just want to show you the trays that I've gotten. These are insane trays of jewelry. So yeah, this is what I've gotten. And we're going to talk about it in just a second. Hey guys. So yeah, I've been on like this crazy spending spree. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know why. You know how sometimes you just like need retail therapy? Well, my retail therapy at least is benefiting my business and I've just been buying and buying and buying more inventory. Um, and even though I've got that big, huge consignment thing that's going on, um, I'm just spending all like my extra, I guess my extra money that I have, which isn't really that much, but I guess I'm overspending uh, on inventory, which is beneficial to everybody else. Um, so a lot of this stuff is going to be in my upcoming live auctions. Um, and maybe I might have to do some extra pop-ups. I'm not really sure because I'm buying a lot. Um, and I've got a lot left over from, I don't know, the last couple that I've done. And I showed, I think, videos already, um, with some of what I've got. So, um, and don't mind Angel, somebody just like is doing yard work in their yard behind my house. So, um, and she's, she's over here. So, um, but yeah, I figured I'd show you at least like highlights of some of the stuff that I got. There's some really cool stuff. And then I also want to show you, uh, something that I got that I was pretty disappointed in. So, um, we all live and learn. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's dig into some of this fun stuff. Um, and like I said, this is all my own inventory. So if you're a channel member, you will get discounts on the stuff um, and you can pre-sale it. So uh, because I don't know when this stuff is going to go live uh, because this is a lot. Um, but hopefully in the next probably two to three lives, this will all go. But, you know, I keep spending, so there's going to be more. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, so um, let's get into all this fun stuff because it's crazy. Um, okay, I don't even know where to start. Um, okay, uh, let's just dig in. Okay, so let's start with some brooches. Um, this I got... One in auction, um, you know, you have to be careful with online auctions. Um, this one I wasn't paying attention to, and I won, but I didn't win as many lots as I was hoping for, so I kind of get got killed in shipping. Um, but still, I got some cool pieces. Look at that brooch. That's a gorgeous one. Um, there we go. Perfect. That one looks nice. Look at those, like that opal glass in there. That's really cool. And that's, this is the back of it. So yeah, I'm not really sure. Can't really tell like what it is, but probably like, I don't know, um, German. It's definitely like, could be J Japan, German. It's pretty, it's really nice. I like that one. Um, this one's super cool. I think there's some uranium glass in this. Um, but look at that. Look at that green. Oh, and let's see. I think there's uranium. Uh, kind of. Hard to tell with, because I got sunlight coming in. But these, there's, well, there's like a darker green. See these darker green, these four, they kind of light up, kind of. They kind of have like a, a UV reaction, but that's a kind of a cool one. It does have this kind of backing to it. So it's a later brooch, more on the mass produced side, but pretty cool, pretty nice one. Um. Yeah, the, I think this is all just like uh, like a reaction to, like I got Shane leaving, my youngest son 
he's leaving for like a year and I'm really struggling with it. And yeah, it's just, yeah. I had some family news coming up and it's just like, yeah. So sometimes like when I get like this, I just stay up late and I shop and I go on auction sites and I just buy tons of stuff. Look at that. This one has mass, uh, like beautiful, like large huggy type earrings that match. So I don't know if anybody else does that kind of stuff, but yeah, like anytime I've had like big life events, my inventory goes way up. So some people cut their hair. Some people, I don't know. I max my credit cards and buy ear or buy inventory. Probably not healthy, but you know, I guess we all have our vices. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So this all came from one auction. And this one doesn't react, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. And to be honest, like, I don't even want to know, like, what this ends up being, like, in terms of, I didn't even, like, because I got kind of screwed on the, um, on the shipping on this one, I didn't even want to look. So this is, yeah, this one, yeah, this is a set. I thought this was Weiss. When I first saw it, but it is not, it's not marked. It looks like Weiss though. It's not pretty. And then this has little earrings that match. And there's, there's of course two earrings, but little earrings. I don't know why I'm doing this face up. I'm, I kind of like the way it looks better in my living room. Um, although I don't think I get as many views in here when I do it face up, but I think it looks looks better. This does have reactive glass. Isn't that cool? Love it. So not marked. None of these were marked. I really thought there was like a lot of like Weiss and stuff. And I, I thought I won it, but I did not. Oh, this other one is marked Weiss. I'll show you. But it is not. So I was really P-I-S-S-E-D on this one. So... The pictures were all just single pictures, and this one said Weiss. It was like a lot with a couple other of these. And it said Weiss. And I've seen this brooch before. I've actually had this brooch before. And it was Weiss. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, I'll get that again. I like that. I've had it. It did well. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I got it, and this was the back. And I was so ticked off. That's the back of it. This is obviously a Weiss counterfeit. Um... And there's nothing you can do. So I can't, I mean, I can sell it, but it's not going to be at a Weiss price. But, um, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful brooch, but it's a counterfeit Weiss. So if you look at it, um, the back actually doesn't look like this part of the back doesn't look bad. But Weiss didn't do this kind of backing or that kind of pin back. So, and actually, it's really easy. You can go online. I could show you a Weiss that actually looks correct. Um, this one is cool. What is the name of this one? Um, this one is a um, Eugenie. And it's a cool, this is a cool brooch. Um, Eugenie is different. That is the way that one looks. And then it's like a tack pin back. I don't know why it's got this string, but it does. It's a tack pin back. It's cool. I like this one. That would be cool in like a lapel or something. It kind of reminds me of like a guy's brooch or something. I don't know. I thought it was cool. This is cool too, but when I got it, it's missing a stone, but it's a super easy stone to replace. But that's super pretty, but it is missing a stone right there, but super simple fix. So... This will go in a later live. I have to fix it. Um, and this, oh my God, probably my favorite one out of the whole thing. Is that not the coolest? And it's Mark Checo, I think. Yeah. C Z E C H O. Checo. So, very old Czechoslovakian brooch. And then that's the back, and you can see. 
trying to see where it's marked Checo. So that's a cool one. Um, and then, oh, and then this one I got from the same auction. That's a cuff. It's not gorgeous. And it is signed in the inside H Hall by Halston. And then it actually comes with its little dust bag. So I love getting like the luxury pieces when I can. So that is that one. Um, I did have, oh, I forgot to bring it out, but I had this really gorgeous sterling and lapis necklace on in my last live. That came from this next auction. Um, and I probably won't show absolutely everything from this next one, but um, I think this next one, there are some really cool pieces. Uh, this one was a cool cuff. It said it was from uh, a designer named Natasha, although it's not marked. And uh, although a lot of the Natasha pieces that I saw in line weren't marked or they had a hang tag. So... Um, I don't know, although some were, so I don't, I can't guarantee that this really is a Natasha, but it's a really fabulous blingy bird bangle um, clamper, so I thought that was cool. Um, okay, so some of these, whoever, whoever estate auction this was had fabulous jewelry from all time periods. There's modernist, there's some gemstones, there was some taxco. There were some antique, um, I mean, this was fabulous. So here's kind of a modernist um, bracelet and it's actually Metal Pointus um, and it's a Paris company or brand. And look at that. I just thought that was fabulous. Um, and I looked online and it, these go, it's a brand that goes very high. So, I mean, I didn't, I mean, it was a it was a good deal for me, but this was a phenomenal bracelet. I loved it. Um, and then check out this brutalist cuff. Is that not cool? So I love that this is the kind of stuff I really get into. Um, I love the really antique stuff too, but man, this stuff this stuff gets me. I love it. Um, I thought this was cool. And I just kind of wanted to, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat. For some reason, I like this money jewelry. And this is Italian. So it's Italian liras. And um, this is 18 karat gold plate around the front one. I thought it was fabulous. Super different and interesting. And then we do get into a Victorian glass look at the color on this now i should test this i didn't test it yet maybe it's real i don't know i didn't test it yet um and then oh here's a brooch that came in that lot that's a pretty one isn't that gorgeous i like that one um there were some really pretty glass bead necklaces that one was nice. Um, this one was just a really long one. I should grab my neck, but then there's this really long one. This is more definitely more modern. It's pretty more modern. Um, then there's this Millefiori. And the quality of these Millefiori beads. Oh, my God. Look at that. Those are fabulous. And this is sterling, supposedly. I need to test it. I didn't test it yet. But look at those. Oh, it's like candy. And those are beautiful. These are true Venetian beads. Um, you know, you can tell, if you look at some of these clear ones, you know that they're quality when those bead holes are practically clear. When you get the Chinese ones, they're like dirty. They're like, you can see that bead release in there and it's just gross. Um, and that's a beautiful one. Um, and then a true, a true antique, or as Kirsten Redrisa would say, Vantique 
because I'm not sure exactly. This could be vintage. This could be antique. Um, Millefiori, or I'm sorry, <laughs> wedding cake bead necklace. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Now, this is very short. It's 15 inches, I believe I measured it. I am just enamored with this. Look at the detail on this. The detail, the gold adventuring, that beautiful light blue, those flowers. And then it does have a barrel clasp there. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. This is phenomenal. 15 inches on that one. Um, oh my gosh, this one too. This is sterling and this is adjustable. It's at least 16 inches, but look at this. And this is an agate. Look at these agates. They are faceted and it's, they look like eyes. These are so cool. I love this. This is the coolest necklace and it's sterling. Oh my God, I love that one. Um, this is uh, a cool sterling bracelet. It's like a sterling charm bracelet. That's all sterling. Isn't that cool? And then it's got a little toggle. There we go. It's got the little toggle. I love that one. Super cool. Um, and then <laughs> this is a Austrian uh, glass bead faceted necklace. It's nice and long. It's also um, individually knotted, which is really nice. Um, and then here it says, uh, Austria, made in Austria. Um, when I bid on it, it said that it was jet. And I'm like, oh, wow, jet, that's cool. I'll bid on it. And I got it home and it wasn't jet. I mean, I tested it. You test jet on a piece of, um, you know, you just take a, a bead. I usually do it a bead in the back and just rub it on a piece of unglazed porcelain if it leaves a black mark, then you know it's jet. Well, it didn't, so it's glass. And um, so I complain. Well, and then also I didn't get a correct piece, like a correct necklace. I got something different. And so I, I complained about that this wasn't jet. And then also I got this necklace, which is a really long, beautiful black faceted necklace. And um, I complained that these weren't jet because he said this was jet too. And this obviously wasn't. I mean, you could pick it up, you know, it's not jet. And um, he said, uh, oh, I did a pin test. I'm like, I've never heard of a pin test for jet, but okay. And, uh, and he goes, and they tested this jet. And I'm like, okay, well, it's not. And um, so he actually... Uh, credited me. I was really impressed. Um, so I got those. I also got a couple rings um, from this auction. I spent a lot of money on this auction. It was ridiculous. Um, but look at this. It's a Greek key. Sterling silver Greek key ring. Um, this one is size uh, I'd say seven and a half. Not pretty. And it actually goes a little bit past that. It could be like seven and three quarters, but I, I like that one. And then also this um, Labrad or uh, Labradorite Larimar. I'm pretty. And then this one's bigger. This one is uh, about ten and a half. It's a great little ring. Um, I got a pair of Abalone Texco cufflinks. Those are beautiful. Look at that abalone in there. Those are gorgeous. Um, also, this is an opal necklace. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And it is a sterling silver clasp and little chain in the back. I think it's really pretty. 
I really like it, at least. Well, maybe I'll keep it. I think I'll fit in it, yeah. Looks nice. Granted, I'm just wearing a little junky t-shirt today. Um, this was a cool brooch from that lot, too. I'm telling you, this lot had, like, everything. That's the back of it. Um, this was a wild brooch. It was, like, an alien. Thought it was kind of cool. Got that in the back. Kind of, kind of different. And then there was another Texco piece in here. Oh, a little guilloche brooch. Um, then, yeah, this is the other Texco. Which normally I don't bid on it, but I'll bid on it if it's, if it's something that looks kind of cool and it's the right price or whatever. I'll bid on it. And I did and I won. Um, so that's those. And then, so then I got... On the next, like, auction, I'm just going to move the tray over here, um, got this little cool copper enamel seahorse. What else did I get? I mean, you guys probably think I'm nuts. I got all this stuff. I don't even know. Like, I got way too much to do, like, a single auction. Look at that brooch. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, I need to check and see. This might be, I don't know if this is, oh, you know what? It's marked. I didn't even notice. It is marked. No way. It says Sarah Coventry. Who knew? It says Sarah Coventry. But you know what? I should look because there was Juliana for Sarah Coventry. And it definitely looks like a Juliana. So who knows? Um, let's see. This was actually just like one big huge jewelry. Basically like a jewelry lot. Um, I got this. It has matching earrings. For some reason, I like these, but I really liked this because it was on a long, like a really long um, necklace. Um, what else? I got, oh, this one's a cool one. That's pretty, it kind of reminds me of a little airplane propeller. Um, let's see. This is a gorgeous, look at that bracelet. Isn't that cool? I like that one. And got these earrings. These I almost feel it could be a, I don't know. They definitely look to me like they could be a Juliana earring, only because I recently had a Juliana brooch and they look almost identical. But I don't, I don't know. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. Um, this is gorgeous. Um, and this is a Austrian apple. Is that not so cute? Little Austrian apple. These are Juliana's. I had said, I think last week, I got this actually right before my live last week. And I had said I had a bunch of Juliana earrings and this is a pair of them. That's the back, you can see. But those are beautiful Juliana's. Um, here is Another kind of a fun little brooch. That's the back. Here's another brooch. There we go. That's kind of fun. Um, another pair of earrings that are cool. I love the earrings. I actually have the necklace that goes with it and I don't like it. So I don't know that I am, do I sell it with the necklace? I just, and the necklace is ultra short and I just think I'm gonna separate it because they're not marked and um, I just don't think the necklace is all that. So that's my, my theory. Whether or not you guys agree, I don't know. 
let me know what you think. Um, this is a cameo, long cameo, like hematite necklace. I don't know. That might go, might not. I might put it in a big, long, big lot later. Um, this reminds me of a Hollycraft necklace. It's a choker. I have the bracelet and earrings that go with it. Um, this is a this is a beautiful bracelet. This is a Les Bernard. It's a little twisted uh, bracelet. But that's a Les Bernard bracelet. It's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, and then these earrings. Very um, Miriam Haskell-ish. Not marked, though. But those are pretty. Um, yeah, so that's that tray. I mean, that's the highlights of that tray. I would say. And then I've got this tray. I've got two more trays. Just giving you highlights. Just highlights. Um, this tray has some cool stuff. So this actually came from somebody that sold to me locally. Um, this is just a cute little bag, a little beaded bag. And it's um, it's a uh, exclusively for Lord and Taylor which I don't know if that was a national department store, but it was one here in Detroit. So, um, but it's a very exclusive um, department store here in Detroit. So um, it's a cool, it's a beautiful, beautiful little bag. Um, I love this. Let me see if I can get it open. I didn't try. Hope I can. There it goes. Okay. So it does open. You just got to open it like that and then it'll cl click closed. But look at this. This is Champlevé. So it's kind of like, it's a higher quality. I say higher end, higher quality cloisonne. You can see how it's raised. The enameling and that gold work is just a little more detailed, a little more raised. So this is a Champlevé bracelet and it is just gorgeous that royal blue and the gold panels oh, just beautiful um then i have oh here's some weiss earrings from that this grouping look at those look at those weiss the color on those oh, gorgeous um Oh, there's some Swarovski earrings in this too. Look at those beautiful Swarovski. Um, these were pretty earrings. These are unmarked, but beautiful. There was a lot of earrings in this lot, um, which was nice. I, I like having some earrings. This was a great little, um, this is a set. So this is Napier. Um, and so that's the necklace. And nice, like, nice, matches my shirt. Um, I like that. And then it has little post earrings, actually, that match. And these are the earrings. So that's kind of cool. And there's just, like, a glass pearl necklace. A little wrap, crystal wrap bracelet. And if you have questions about anything, just let me know. Just message me. Um, I know I'm kind of whipping through a lot of this, but there's a lot. That's a beautiful made in Japan. I might hold this back for a while just because it's getting into fall. And um, I don't know. This is a nice little Trafari brooch. Um, I personally love these necklaces. This is gorgeous. Um, it is, look at that, that mother of pearl. Beautiful, look at that. It's gonna be longer though. This is great. So unique, so fun. Um, oh, here we go. Here is a pair of St. John earrings. Look at those. Look at how pretty that blue is. God, that's gorgeous. Um, and then the really the whole reason, oh yeah, this is cool too, 
if you like that kind of like seed bead look, boho seed bead look, that's kind of a fun necklace. I like that one. Sometimes I go completely boho. Oh, there's this tiny little milk glass too. That's kind of fun. And the whole reason I wanted to buy this from this person was um, this necklace right here. This is a Christian Dior collar. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it is marked ah, right there. Christian Dior. Gorgeous. So that was really exciting. Um, I think that's a highlight. Highlights of this group. Oh, this is another pair of Weiss earrings. Um, I don't think I showed those. Um, oh, and then these little Austrian earrings are super cute. Um, I think I lost the other one in this tray, but it's this one. Isn't that cute with the little leaves? I like that one. Um, okay. And then I've got, I forgot my other tray in my office. So let me grab the other tray and yeah, so I've actually got four trays of jewelry. I told you I've been going crazy. This is a little much. So that's why I mean, it's like, I've probably got to add a live or something. And I'm probably going to add some maybe like jewelry bags, like little miscellaneous um, jewelry bags and maybe put them on my website because some of these pieces I probably won't do in lives. They're probably, um, you know, it's just because it's a lot. So I'll probably do some like little jewelry bags or something like that and offer them on my website um, when I get around to it, when I have time. Um, so let me grab that other, um, I'm gonna grab that other, other uh, tray and then we'll dig into that one for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, and then you guys are gonna be like, oh, when is, when is all that stuff gonna go in a live? Well, probably over the next three weeks, but like I said, I still got more stuff coming. Okay, so here's the, here's the last one, I promise. Last one, a lot of brooches in this. Um, okay, so actually here's a um, little bangle. Um, okay, look at this one. This one's super cool. This is a cool brooch. Isn't that awesome? These are plastic though. And this big like Rivoli center. But super cool, super different. Um, and then I have that isn't that interesting. So unique. Um, this is a wild bracelet. Kind of a funky little like cuff style. I I personally like it. Um, this is glass. This is very old. That's gla all glass beads. Very old. It's a stretch bracelet, but it's really good. There's no, um, there's no dry rot. There's no issues with it. It's really a nice stretch bracelet. Um, there is some rhinestone necklaces, very short though. That one's beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, this one's a little bit longer. And and it's different. It's got like this kind of chunky matte look to it. So kind of pretty. Um, and then oh, I love this necklace. So this is a nice long necklace. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. And this really cool long chain. That's so cool. Um, and then these are gemstones. Uh, gemstone bracelets. And this tested in like the amethyst. Both of these tested in like that amethyst area. So, but I'm not positive what that green stone might be. Um, this is an, uh, no, yes, this is an Eisenberg ice brooch. 
that beautiful, beautiful piece that glistens. So this is why I like doing it in here. Beautiful sunlight. Sunlight's always best. And then check out that one. That's like a really deep, almost raspberry with the AB. This is the back of it. I like that one. And then this one too. Oh, there's Angel. She's got to make herself known. Angel. She's sitting right next to me. See her tail? <laughs> this is a cool one. Not marked, though, but look at how pretty that is. With the blue and the green. I like that. And then this is another one. I thought this was Weiss. It's not marked. What are you doing over there? Um, oh, a little blue butterfly. Haven't looked this one up yet, but it's beautiful. And this one's cool too. It's a little one. And then this is a listener butterfly. That's all AB. Isn't that pretty? It's Mark Lisner on the back. Fun. Oh, here's a little milk glass and pastel brooch. It's smaller, um, but my consigner had one, a larger one, very similar in the last auction. And uh, this one is a smaller version. Very pretty. Um, here is a Pell brooch. This one's Pell. I like the baguettes in this one. And then this is a unsigned beauty with the red and the pink. That's gorgeous. I love that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and what else do we have in here? Some beautiful necklaces. This is a Vendome. Uh, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful necklace. Maybe I'll save this for spring. I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, I've got enough jewelry that I can start doing that. Um, and then it does have earrings that match it. So that's a nice, it's a nice little set. Um, this is a cool necklace here. Um, not sure there, it's not signed, but look at that. It's got these beautiful enamel flowers and then the little pink dangles. This is the back of it, but it's got the shepherd's hook. But look at that. Is that not just the coolest? I mean, this would be a good one. You could wear this easily with anything. I like this one. And it's a it's a nice length. Um, it's not too short. I don't think this is too short. This has got, it has some length on it. So I think anybody could wear that. That's a nice one. Um, oh, here's a cool, this is a cool brooch. It's like a cha-cha brooch. Um, but you have to wear it like this because this moves and I thought maybe it became disconnected, but no, there's no other place to connect. It only connects in one spot. So it's a little cha-cha and then it has little matching earrings. So kind of a cool little piece. Um, these are nice earrings unmarked, but really pretty blue. And then here's a nice Trafari bracelet. Again, maybe wait, I'm not sure. Um, oh, look at this bracelet though. That's a really nice milk glass bracelet. And it does have a matching necklace. And this one's not signed. 
So, I don't know. Not sign, and then it has matching earrings, too. Here's the earrings. So, yeah, not signed. Um, oh, look at these earrings. These are cool. These are so cool. Look at those. Oh my gosh. I love those. Those are so much fun. I just think those are amazing. Um, here's another pair of clear earrings that are amazing. Those are so cool. And, oh, this is, a, this is newer. It's got a lobster claw, but look at that necklace. It's got some really pretty um, wedding, well, kind of like a wedding cake, <clears throat> like a modern version of a wedding cake. But I love the uh, pressed leaves. Technically, they could be considered check glass because they're still made in Czechoslovakia, that kind of bead. Um, and these are a, they're, they're not Chinese. These are a nice bead. So they're, it's high quality. This necklace is very high quality. It could be Czechoslovakian. It could be Venetian um, with Czechoslovakian beads. I just, it's really nice quality, very high quality. And the colors are fabulous. Nice length on this. Love it. It's amazing. Um, and then I got super lucky again, again, but it's, look how short this is. And, you know, I could, I don't know. This would be a hard one to make longer, although it is a possibility. Um, but look at these beads. Oh. But I think I measured this one and I think it's 14 inches. So, but yeah. But look at those beads. Oh my gosh. It's that same periwinkle with the gold adventuring and these are encased. This is, this is a fabulous necklace, but it's just so short. Um, I don't know that I, I would want to try to lengthen it or put chain on it or anything, but you could definitely take it somewhere to make it longer if you were wanting to wear it. But that's a collector's piece for sure, for sure. Um, oh, and then here is another brooch. That's definitely older. Those colors are wild in this because it's almost like a carnelian, a glass, car like a carnelian color glass. And that like that yellow pearl is kind of wild. And this is a cafe, which is pretty collectible. So it's kind of a cool brooch. And then I got a random cameo in this lot too. And I collect them. Even when they're ugly, I collect them. Um, so yeah, so that's this lot. And there's a couple other pieces. This is kind of a cool necklace. And then also there's this necklace that has matching earrings, a little more modern, but they are clip earrings and it's kind of a cool piece. So yeah. That's everything. And then I won a local auction um, and that closed, I think, over the weekend. And then they messaged me and said I could go pick it up tomorrow. Um, just a few pieces. I think like eight pieces. So I'm going to go pick that up tomorrow. Um, I just won, I don't know, 17 pieces, including lots, like, or 17 lots. Some of them were single pieces, some were like several pieces today. Um, and then I got a message today that I won a bunch of jewelry and I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was. 
and I had to like pay for the shipping on it. So I was like, all right, all right, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I need to slow down, you guys. I need to slow down. I need to sell some of this. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Got lots of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. So, because uh, I still got all that consignment stuff to sell too. And yeah, yeah, this is what Leslie does when uh, things are going a little crazy. And um, yeah, so uh, I don't know. Should I do a, uh, an extra pop-up or should I, what should I do? I should be probably loading a bunch of stuff on my website. But um, yeah, I just have a lot of stuff to do i don't know how to sell it all what do you guys suggest <laughs> maybe i should just stop shopping <laughs> i don't know i don't know all right you guys um uh, please come to my live <laughs> uh, 6 p.m wednesdays and 4 p.m saturdays and um yeah uh please come to my lives and uh Let's uh, get rid of some of this jewelry. <laughs> all right. All right. Love you all. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, let's see. Today's Tuesday. So tomorrow, 6 p.m. Saturday, 4 p.m. And uh, keep on coming because I got to keep on selling. All right. Bye, everybody. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>